Hello and welcome to the fourth video about mathematics for machine learning and this time we are talking about the transpose of a matrix. When dealing with matrices you may come across this notation where capital T is written next to a matrix uh, and that almost looks like a matrix is raised to power. But this operation is called the transpose of a matrix and we'll see what it does in this short video. So as we know a matrix is a rectangular array of elements that means it has rows and columns. When we compute the transpose of a matrix, rows become columns and columns become rows. So M by N matrix becomes N by M matrix. In other words, we simply flip the matrix over its diagonal. And the same applies to vectors. If we have a column vector, it becomes a row vector. If we have a row vector, it becomes a column vector. If we have, let's say, 3 by 4 matrix, it becomes a 4 by 3 matrix. And if we have a picture of a handwritten digit and uh, we compute the transpose of it, we get something like this. Here is the example in pure Python. We simply initialize a new matrix with flip dimensions and fill it with zeros. We iterate through indices of rows and columns uh, of our input matrix. And this line is the most important one as it does the switching. It takes the element at row i and column j of the original matrix and puts it in row j and column i in our new matrix, which is the transposed matrix. Here is an example in NumPy. We can simply use the dot t and we get the transposed version. As you can see, it works as expected. I hope you find this short video useful and I'll see you in the next one where we'll be talking about matrix multiplication. And as always, we'll check some code samples. So. Take care and see you soon.